All right, all right, all right. Bro, just at the pushing your buttons. I'm in the back seat with crows on the floor. Riding with the whole tour. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. The AOS V5s are finally here. After years and years of waiting for the next gen Envy deck, it is finally upon us. Uh, stay tuned to see the complete lineup of AOS V5 Envy decks along with much more Scooter news because this is Scoot Review, baby. What? What? What a do, Bitter Crew, it is your boy, Finna SB here, back with another episode of Scoot Review, the one and only scootering newscast that you should be watching every single week, every single Wednesday. Be sure to shop only at the world's best scooter shop, the Vault Pro Scooters, and use code Buddha Crew to save 10% off your entire purchase. Today's Buddha Crew notification shoutout goes to Stap. Love your vids, Spooter Spreaders. Keep up the amazing vids. And don't forget to use code BUDACREW at the Volpro Scooters. Right on. Love. Like. Smash that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and leave a comment down in the comment section with my discount code in it to get yourself a shout out in the next episode. Moving on. Clip of the day. Basil Nevarov has been shredding the snowfall recently, and this looks like the coolest thing ever, okay? Seriously. He's doing things like whip lip slides, front boards to bars to fakies, but most importantly and most awesome, okay, look at this one. 50-50 to lip slide. Ah, oh, so much fun, I want one. Somebody give me the snow scoot. Uh, give it here, we got uh, mountains nearby, uh, you want promo, hit me up. Byron Mitchell is dropping jaws with this big flip drop, all right. He just freaking yeet. <laughs> Bro, who looks at a quarter that big and just says, you know what, let, eh, let, 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 let me flip drop this, this real, real quick. quick. Max Peters, good friend and one of my favorite writers, uh, posted a few uh, raw boys, but here's one of my favorites, all right? 50-50 around one pocket and another pocket. Oh, and the flare. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 That's crazy. Becca Ortiz, current female world champion, has done a 540 flare. Smash like girl power. And here's a weird one from Colby, which I'm not even gonna bother trying to describe. Backflip flippity doo da. There's, there's some kicklesses in there. That's pretty cool. What even is that? <laughs> That's a bruh. That's a backflip bruh. Big news. Bruh. Ryan Williams, everyone's favorite writer, has uh, made his latest addition to our Willy Land with this massive new airbag landing, and when I say big, damn it, I mean big. Look at this monstrosity. That is hectic. Just imagine the tricks that Ryan and the boys are gonna pull on this thing. Like, bro, peep how big this thing is. I wonder how long it actually takes to put up. I'm assuming maybe like 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so. But dude, I, it, the thing is massive. They might need something at the end of this though to uh, stop what happens next. Ow. Can't it burn much. The AOS V5 has been announced. Ah! Personally, I'm not that hyped. Like, the hype on this deck died for me a long time ago. But uh, for the wider community, it, everyone's still relatively excited. The only downside on these is that we did have to wait, like, a number of years. Such a long time for the update to the V4. They did the V4 limited edition, the V4 in non-signature colorways, they did the XL, they just, they did all these weird steps along the way before bringing out the AOS V5 to market, but here it is, nonetheless.
So you got a Flavio Pazenti, there's a Charles Padel, and the newest edition, Will Scott, are the only decks that have been posted as of recording this video. But it's pretty obvious that there will also be a Dedeen, John Reyes, and Raymond Warner Signex as well. Potentially Waza, although since Will Scott has come on the Australian lineup, Waza hasn't been that active these past few years, um, that maybe Will Scott will be the replacement for the Waza deck. But we will find out in due course. It also looks like these SIG decks will be coming in a number of different sizes per deck, which is very cool. So it's going to appeal to more of a wider variety of riders. Black Friday sales are coming. Everyone is having one. And for the first time ever, so is ScooterBrad.com, where you can get already reduced merch for even less than before. Was 50% off. Now, 60% off. Yes, that's right. 60% off. That's less than half price. Bruh. Bruh. Get yours now at the link in the description. It's time for Riders Digest. Ethic is releasing a mid-length team video dubbed Six Months Later featuring JD Rand, Nick Tedrick, Le Baron, August Pallord, and many more. It's dropping December 1st, so make sure you check out the premiere on YouTube. Speaking of December 1st, the wait is almost over for the Six Bones EP, the new one. And uh, you would have seen a lot of promos in my videos for the last couple of weeks, but this is the first time that I'm publicly addressing this on my YouTube channel. Now, a lot of you will know that I've been dipping my toes in the music scene for the past year or so. And let me be clear that I do all that for fun <laughs> um, on the side of YouTube. I have no aspiration of becoming a rap star with face tats and bad hair yet. But no, seriously, this is a project that I've been heavily invested in. And for those of you who are out there and not at all interested in this, wishing I would move on to the next topic, I will in a sec. Let me just say this, right? Give this whole thing a listen at least once, like all the way through and keep an open mind, really see where I've taken this whole thing. Like I've put a lot of thought into this. One moment it's serious, the next it's bopping, then it's Lil Dicky kind of funny. It's just a roller coaster ride of wavy vibes and heavy lights. So check it out, all platforms, December 1st at 9 p.m. New Zealand time, which is about 3 a.m. in New York, I believe. The base skate park is undergoing construction as of December 2nd. They will be out of action for at least eight days and are asking locals to come in and help out with certain bits and bobs. So if you're a loyal base rider, make sure you get down there and lend a hand to those who are providing with such an awesome riding facility. Today's Hall of Meat clip is an oldie but a goldie and it comes from Esteban Clot at the Fees Montpellier contest. This one is just priceless, man. Yeet. Dunk. <laughs> that is so unfortunate, dude. <laughs> Release Radar. Christmas time is my favorite time of the year when literally everything is coming out all at once. So release radar is great and the gear will not stop, stop coming. coming. Here we, Here go. we go. Brian Noyes has a new AO SIG deck that gives me mad Vice City vibes. I love the old school pink and cyan color scheme and it's described to be AO's largest SIG deck, uh, although official specs aren't yet available. North Horizon decks are now available for purchase. The TSI satellite is getting closer and closer. The paint and graphics are now complete and look awesome as promised, front and top. Very cool. Supremacy has a new hollow core that looks pretty buzzy. They're calling it the cube core and this geometric design is insane. I love this. There's also the Spartan SCS clamp, which has been available for a while, but is always worth another shout out. So there it is, black, chrome and baby blue or electric blue. Freaking sweet, dude. I really want one of these. Drone is dropping another Max Peter Signature Barker Lab, but this time they are done in chromoly instead of titanium. So they'll be much more affordable and they wanted to go for a different material to enhance strength capabilities. Triad, let's talk about Triad. They've got a new deck called the Psychic Deck and it comes in four different sizes for all of your different size needs. One comes 19.5 uh, long by 4.7, another 20.5 by 4.7 again, the next is 22 by 5.1, and the biggest and baddest is 23 long, 5.5 white. And I quite like the color scheme on this one, available just in time for Christmas this year. So check them out. And finally, the Spiral Bar from Farzan is making a comeback, apparently, according to Flickr. Hopefully they're much stronger this time around because 
Low key, these bars sucked. <laughs> a lot of people are saying this in the comments too. They moved snap so fast. Yeah, they did. They really did. And that's pretty much it for the news today, guys. So if I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below. And with that being said, it's another video done for me. It's been your boy, FinSB, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Bye.